Yeah, we live out. Alive? Go ahead. I say first and foremost, give all praises, all power, and all glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka Kodash, and all double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, honors to the Akim, all the sincere brothers who are laboring, our fellow brethren, to Shalom. You know, um, yeah, we're back again on another, another life here to, to feed the elect. Okay. You know, because that was, the, that was the most I actually set us up to do, to warn the people and feed the elect. You know? And that's why today we just want to bring our lessons concerning the Gentiles, you know? And how the Israelites was Hellenized and became Gentiles, even though they was Israelites. You know, and to show the difference between the two Gentiles, because... As far as we understand it, that people can't seem to get it. You know, people can't seem to get it. You know, it have Israelite Gentiles, which, is, which was known as Gentiles, but it also had a heathen nations, which is also Gentiles. Right. Understand? And the first piece up, I just want to bring in for here is that is Hosea 8 verse 8. Right. The Israel is swallowed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein there is no pleasure, okay. you know, and and even and even common sense shall tell you that when Israel when Israel was scattered, obviously they will pick up the heathen customs, you know, okay. they, they will do as the heathens do, because in all Israel is a wicked people. You know, and the Mosai actually scattered them. Right. You know, and as he say here, Israel is followed up. Now shall they be among the Gentiles. So there, and they, and that alone to show that that difference. They right. shall be among the other hidden nations. You know? They don't understand, they don't understand, they don't want, they, they see this, the understanding wasn't given to them. So, you know, they, when, when you give them the understanding, you know, they're so proud, you know, and they so want to save these, um, these heathen, you know, because they, they, they reprobate pastor, you know, fill them up with lies that you're supposed to love everybody. Can. You know? And they, yeah, they like to call. use, um, they like to use Galatians. You can get the Galatians tree and, um, and we can start the, um, and from there we can go into the history. Because the Bible is a history book, and if you don't know the history, you will not understand. You will not understand the difference. The difference with the Gentiles, and why, and why, and why Apostle Paul went to the Gentiles to our Israelite, because they were Hellenized. Um, if you don't know the history, you can't get this, right? So now you see. Uh... Yeah, but they are. It's at the articulations for you here, no. Oh, I want to put it, put it eh? in there. Ah, go ahead, read it, read it, read it. That's coming there. Yes, sir. I don't want to pull it up on the screen so we can go into the letter too. We have to bring it up, bring it out now. We put it up on the screen. Done. Right. Put it up on the screen. <sighs> Uh, that's what I'm bringing on the Jeremiah for you now, about the, about the pastors now. Yeah, you can bring it all right there, you know, the uh, yeah, yeah. uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 1, it says, woe, to, woe, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastor, said the Mosai Hawa. And that what these pastors the doing, pastor. them actually scattering the Mosai, the Mosai sheep. Right. Yes, and them actually teaching things contrary to the doctrine, contrary right. to what they want to say. Yes, and son, because for, for, for them to come up on the, um, what did I talk on a pulpit? And a, a pulpit. pulpit. A pulpit. <laughs> and say that the most are actually loving everybody and everybody is being written in the book of life. That is a lie. That, that going yeah. against that, that going yeah. against the, 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 the order of the Mosai. There's not the words in the Mosai. I know the Mosai and the Mosai. You know, they're trying to creep in some other way. 
Yeah. Nah, sound that way. I say he is the door. Yeah, how I say is the door. You know. You got the guy that sends you the screen. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm in. I'm in this. Put it up there. Yeah. You know we. You know we going through these lessons over and over. It's only for the elect. And it's how we doing this in the elect. Because we know two third, two third of people not going to get this. We know that. And the ones who bought the drug dealers want to save these healers. We know it wasn't given to them. So we don't, we in business about them. Because we know they can't get it. All right? Let's bring it up. All right? So this is the scripture that's used. Just like how, just like how they were used. John 3.16, right, to justify that saying the most I love everybody, not understanding John 3.16. This is the next one they use, Galatians 3 and 28, right? He said, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither born nor free. He said, there is neither male nor female, for he are all one in a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, right? So when they read it, say, Soka white man can make it, but these Greeks say it's not soka white people, right? So when we go into this, right? Then we go into the um the word Greek, the word Greek there's Helen, right? This is the meaning for the word Greek, right? Strong's G sixteen seventy two Helen. Helen. Right? That's Helen, which going back to the Hellenistic period and how the how, how the Israelites become Greeks. Right? It's a um it said in a wider sense, the name embraced all nations, not the Jews, right? He said that and made the language he said that made the language that's perhaps like that made the language custom and learning of the Greek their own, right? The primary reference to a difference or religion or worship. You understand? So they, with, these, with these Jews did, they they adapt the way the Greeks. You understand? Can. That's what they do, can, they can. adapt the way the Greeks. All right? So let me see, I guess they, something else. They, yeah, 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 because they, the uh, yeah, because they, they left off their their, their own customs. And they, they, they left off their own heritage. Because they could not deal with the chastisement of the Mosai. You know? Yeah. And even, even even back then in, in um I think it's the book of Maccabees. Can I report going? about Yeah, I'm being going, being going to the two. Yeah. All right. Let's see this one. Let's say here. Hmm. All right. So hey, with with this with this Israel, I do. You know, they, they followed the way the Greeks. And that's how they became Hellenized. They was in the same mind, they was in the same spirit as these heathens. You understand? That's why I tell you now, 1 Corinthians, if you, if you can get it at 1 Corinthians 12 and 2, i show you how the Israelites became, how the, how the uh, Israelites became Gentiles. All right, first Corinthians. You can start from one, 12 and one, but the point is in two. All right, first Corinthians 12, verse one. It said, now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. Yeah. Do you know that we were Gentiles carried away onto these dumb idols? Yeah, even we, know, at, 
can you know you were Gentile? So what it was before they became Gentile? Yeah, it was Israelite. Yeah, and, and how did he come? Hello. By I was in this. By yeah. falling fast, that's how they become Gentiles. But even Jeremiah speak about that. I think it's Jeremiah. Yeah. Are they Jeremiah 10 verse 1? He said, Hear ye the word which the Mosiah how was speaking unto you, O house of Israel. I said the Mosiah always always used to talk to the house of Israel by his prophets. You know? Okay. And that yeah. never changed, and that never changed until this day. So in Corinth, you know, who were dwelling in Corinth? The Corinth was the yeah. Corinth, but well, that Israelite was dwelling in Corinth, which is Greece, right? That Israelite dwelling there. Can. All right. So let me read back this again. Right? He said, um, in a wider sense, the name embraced all nation, right? He said, "Not he said, uh, all nation, not the Jews, right?" He said, mm -hmm. "He said the Jews." He said, "All nation, not the Jews. Jews that made made the language, custom, and learning of Greeks their own." You understand? He said a prime. He said a primary reference to a difference or religion or worship. And when we go into the um the telephone compact Bible dictionary, when you go to um page page two twenty three, Hellenistic, it, it said Jews who made Greek their tongue and with and with of um and with often adopt Greek ideas and practice. Right? And um, that's how they became, mm -hmm. and that's how they became um Gentiles. Hellenized. Yeah, they get Hellenized. Right. And they left, they, they left off the customs that they had as Israel. They left off the yeah. customs that the, the, the forefathers actually passed down. You know, they left off the covenant. So technically yeah. speaking, spiritually speaking, they left, they turned their back on the Mosai. Good. You know, it to serve other idols. And it tell you that, it tell you that, um, in 2nd in sec, in Maccabees four, um, chapter, um, chapter 4, was fifteen, you know, they love mm. the way they love the way the Grisha more than more than the ways of the father, roughly paraphrasing. Yeah. Right? I got another little history here. Um this in this is this is um in um Babylon to Timbuk two and this page eighty three. Right? It's uh going into the history with uh, with um the Hellenistic period, right? Mm -hmm. with, um, with, with Antiochus, right? He said, when Antiochus the fourth usurped the throne in Syria, 175 to 163 BC, right? He said, he entertained the thoughts of uniting Alexander empire. Because Alexander ruled, he had all his empire on his foot. When Alexander died, his fourth general, which is Seleuc which is Ptolemy, um, Seleucus, um, Cassandra, and, um, this next, this, this next general name, um, is Ptolemy, Cassandra, yeah, I'll get, I'll get Las, no, Lassamacus, and mm -hmm. Seleucus, right? So, the kingdoms, the kingdom split into four, which is four general. So, what, 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 um, Antiochus was trying to do, he was trying to, to, un, to bring all these nations under his rulership, just like how Alexander had it. Right, because Alexander Hellenized, he Hellenized everybody under him. Um, you understand? Um, so this is what this is what Antiochus was trying to do. Right? He said when Antiochus used up the throne in Syria in one seventy five and one sixty three BC, he entertained the thought of uniting Alexander Empire. This means the conquest of Egypt. However, the providence that border on Egypt was Palestine. Which stood in the which stood in its way. At this time, the Jews would not accept Greek culture, 
Nevertheless, Antiochus was determined to Hellenize the Jews, right? He said the army of Antioch marched into Palestine to support um, Mel 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 Lewis, right? The leader of the of the um, pro Syrian party. He said it, he said as a result, many Jews were killed, or they yeah. escaped to the hills, yeah. and other other escaped to the hills and to Egypt. Only those Jews that support Antiochus policy remain in Jerusalem and Edic. He said an Edic, this one look up this one Edic is a law was um pro pro mulligate right in he said inter interdict interdicting the observation of the holidays, the Sabbath and circumcision, he said a statue of Jupiter was erected in the holy he said in the holy temple above the altar Right, he said. Um, he said this this statue, the people brought and and sacrificed pig pig meat, right? And the animal, which is an abomination unto the Jews, because of this religious persecution. Right, he said um, the legitimate high priest Onias the Third and many other Jews flee into African countries. Such as Egypt, Ethiopia, Libya, throughout the last 2,500 years, the main factor that has contributed to the social migration of the Jews were war, religious persecution, and commerce. All these factors were operating and gave rise to the African Jewish population. So, hey, our people was being prosecuted by this devil. Um, right? A lot of people... A lot of people, hey, they 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 they, they, um, they they give in, they give in to the prosecution. A lot of people flee. All right, so this is this this is what was happening to our people in in around seventy between sixty eight to seventy A D. Right, this is what was going on with our people. Right, and if you want if you want to any Maccabees. Yeah, I will add my subbies. Which one are you? I'm my subbies one. I'll start some verse um, verse 10. Start from verse 1. Yeah, start from verse 2. Because as I was saying just now, um, with, with, with Antiochus, even in, in Daniel 8 chapter, you know, they say um, Antiochus actually. He actually paid other nations to help take down Israel too. Uh, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, Antiochus, Antiochus really wanted to, to Hellenize and, and whoever rebelled was being killed. You know? That's right. Uh, Maccabees. This is just what Pastor Donna said. If we deal with history, at the Bible the history book, if we deal with history. Oh, uh, no, because uh, then, I, then again is, they don't have the spirit of going to history and thing because they're going to be bringing out too much of truth. You know, and how they, how they sign this this fight, this thing this, the, that they can't speak the truth now, but like they sell out. 501c3. Yeah. You know, because even Apostle Tara said, he just said the best. He said, these dumb, foolish fucking Christians. So yeah. they, don't even, they, they don't even read. They don't even read or they even look up words to get the understanding and meanings and stuff like that. You know? I'm going to start from Maccabees 1, right? Maccabees right. 1 verse 1. Right, Maccabees 1 verse 1. And it, and it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Sittim, had submitted Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, that he re- that he, resi- he resigned in in his stead to force over Greece. Man. Yeah, so the, 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 them, them, them was that was Edomites, right? That was Edomites. So you could jump down. Yeah, jump down. I'm going to jump down to about the ten verse. Now, read from a. Uh, uh, 
Each for Hmm. Yeah, you can start. Yeah, you can start from uh, seven. Seven. Nine. Ten. Ten. Uh, First Maccabees chapter one verse seven. It says, "So Alexander reigned twelve years and then died, right. and and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Right. And after and after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves." So did their sons after them many years, and evils were multiplied in the earth. <laughs> yeah, so when you saw how white man rule, it, it was just full of evil. It's full of wickedness. Right. You know, and that's linking up, that's actually linking up with, with the same history that Daniel was speaking about. Desolation, abomination, and desolation. Is so called white man. Can. And the speaker going, going into 7080. See, this is the history you are going to. And this this, this, this this Christian don't teach. This is why, this is why they can't really teach. Because the Bible, the Bible deals with history. Bible is a history book. Bible is a history book. Can. Yeah. Yeah, let's go pick it up just so you had a. You had no secular history to break down certain scriptures because this is meat. When you're going on into history, this is meat. Yeah. Yeah. First Maccabees what's, 1 verse 10. Can. The first Maccabees 1 verse 10. And there came out of them a wicked root. Antiochus, surname Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king. Can. Who had been a hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventy year of the kingdom of the Greeks. The Greeks, right? This is Edomites, right? And in those days, when in those days when they are out of Israel, wicked men who persuade many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen." That they are wrong about us, for since we departed from them, we had much sorrow. So this, this wicked age like was doing back then, you know, they forsake, they forsake their own heritage and join onto the heathen. They make a covenant with the heathen. That's why they become gentile. They was in the same spirit with these heathens. They do the things that these heathens do, right? And and, and that's why and that's why Pastor Paul. Let me, let me get a quick precept back. And this is what Pastor Paul cut them with. Right? And if you claim, if you, if you walk it up, you ask Christian claiming that the, that the, um, the, 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 the Gentiles in Corinth were not Israelite, why are Pastor Paul speak like this? Explain this. Right? This is, um, 1 Corinthians 5. Explain this. Um, first Corinthians, first Corinthians five and one, he said, it is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, right? So the laws wasn't given to the, to these heathens, right? The laws that and command wasn't given to these heathens. So if you, if you, if you, if you, um, if you pass as teaching that the, the Corinthians, which is in Greece, Right, what mm -hmm. what what actual Gentile Apostle Paul went to? Why Apostle Paul speak like this? So you're saying Apostle Paul is a madman? There's a there's a question to you to the, to you Christian. Is Apostle Paul a madman? So I can read it slow, right? First Corinthians chapter five verse one. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. Right, fornication go back to what um, homosexuality lesbianism, idolatry, mm -hmm. and committing adultery, right? He said, and such fornication as is not so much as name among the Gentile. So who are Pastor Paul re referring this to? If you say that this is, if you say that these, these, these people that Apostle Paul went to in Corinth were actual Gentile 
were actually at the heathen nation. Why he's speaking like this? I'll read it again. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you, and not such fornication as it not as is not so much as name among the Gentile that one should have his father wife. So Apostle Paul was speaking to the Israelites who were dwelling in Greece. Who was dwelling in Greece can Do you understand? So why he speak like this? If you if you claim that he's speaking to the Gentile, why he speaking like this? He was speaking to the Israelites that were dwelling in that were living in Greece who were acting like these 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 heathens. Just like how we see these jakes today, tattoo down, bump the hell out. Who's not? Who's not? Who's not a black man? Who's not Egyptian? Who's not Kemet? Who's not Muslim? Who's not who's not a Christian at seven days? The same thing I was doing back then, he seemed to do it today. They in the spirit of these heathens. They follow these heathen gods. But they are Israelite. And we tell is- them they They don't believe it. You know? So that's um, not possible to them. Yeah, they can go back in the um so yeah, they, they make a covenant. They make a covenant with the heathens. Yeah, they make a covenant with the heathens. Have a quick piece of paper, yeah, boy. The Ephesians too, because yeah, um, Saint Paul, because he had to he had to keep on reminding. It's only is this this thing is only for the Israelites, you know. Right. Because even Apostle Paul said it was it was a mystery among the Gentiles. It's exactly. a mystery. Which is a mystery. <laughs> 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 uh, there's um, Ephesians 2 verse 11. Wherefore remember that we, we are being in past, in time past, Gentiles in the mm-hmm. flesh. Right? Gentiles in the flesh who are called on circumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh by hands. Yeah. And that was, actually, that was actually talking about Israelites who left off and who didn't know the word Gentiles. They, they wouldn't they, they would they didn't know that they were Israelites was right. being called on being called on circumcision, meaning that they will be called Gentiles from the ones who actually knew that they right. were Israel. So that is to show you it had a difference. You know, it have a difference between being a Gentile, which is an Israelite, and being a Gentile, which is a heathen. Right. I'm really back slow again. Right. Uh, Ephesians 2 verse 11. Wherefore, remember that he being in time past Gentiles in the flesh. In the flesh. In, time in the past. flesh. All right, go ahead. And now and I was talking about the, uh, the, the history I was bringing out. You right. know, Gentiles in the flesh because they left off the customs and made the covenant. Right. They say who are called on circumcision by by that which is called the circumcision so the ones in the know, flesh. The ones who know that they were Israelites and who was who was keeping the laws yeah. were, calling, were calling the brothers heathens because of how they was acting. Can, they were can. calling them heathens. Y'all are heathens. Look how y'all behaving. Y'all are Israelites. Y'all act like the heathens, so they call them heathens. So the, yeah, ones that's, who, that's, the ones who know they were Israelite, who were circumcised in the flesh, currently the ones who were currently uncircumcised one, who were acting like this heathen, call them heathen. Dan. Uh, verse, um, verse 12, Ephesians 2 verse 12, that at the time he were without Mashiach, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, Stranger being strangers, strangers. from the heritage. And, and strangers from the covenants of promise. Yeah, because they do. They make a covenant with the heathen. Having no hope. Yeah. And without power in the world, having no hope. So that is to show you, it, it, it have a difference. It have a difference because for the Israelites and them always... History upon history showing that they always 
this a lock of the heritage and follow the ways of the hidden. Yeah. And it's not it's just not now, it's from always back then. You know? And they do it now because these pastors, the Israelites, these these um these majority of the Christian the so called Christian are Israelites. Seven days Baptist, you name it, they are Israelites and what they do, they do the same thing. They find the ways of these heathens. Um, right? Yeah, you go back in the Maccabees and I'm brown, it's a piece of history. Day. All right, uh, Maccabees 1, verse 11. In those days, when they are out of Israel, wicked men who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are wrong about us. I know, and that's, and that's the adding, and I said, Wicked men who persuaded many. And we don't know Israel, Israel, Israel is like the sun of the sea. Right. So back then, if they persuaded many, I mean the majority, the majority of Israel, they got to persuade. Right. They persuade many, saying, let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are wrong about us. For since we departed from them, we had much, we had much sorrow. Right. So this device pleased them well. You know, and, and when it, when, when it does say more, it, it, it all go back to do as thou will. And I did right. Do as thou will. Whatever you find that, that pleasing to you, you just do it. Right. No repercussions. You know? Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. There's a, there's, there's the Hellenistic period going into. This how they became Gentile. And well, it was, well, was walking in the, it was walking in the image of the Gentile, which is, mm-hmm. which is, which is, which is the ways, which is the ways, the ways of father. That's why a lot of you, that's why a lot of you, if like till today celebrate Christmas, Valentine, Boxing Day, Carnival, Mother's Day, Father's Day, name it, because the same thing you was doing back in your past life. This is the ways of the Gentile. And this is the same way as you are walking in today. So you are still you are still in a gentile state of mind. Yeah. And, and, um first Maccabees one um was thirteen. I was I was I'll read over thirteen again. And, I said then certain of the people were so forward they were hearing that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. Yeah. As we see today, them gymnasium going back to the sport and the, and the sport and real gymnasium. There's, there's, there's a custom of the, of the heathens. Can. Because you no, can go ahead, Axel. Yeah, that's what that's what I want to say. When I watch these these big football stadiums it, with thousands and thousands of seats, it it, it reminds about the Greeks and the Romans how, how they used to watch um um gladiators and stuff. Then, yeah, it, it's the same pattern. Yeah, it's the same beast, the same beast system we live in. It does, it does, it does revive. It does yeah. revive. Same beast system. This is the this is the dragon system we live in, which is the Roman, the pagan Roman Empire system come come to life again. Right? Just like how the just like how the Roman system are two party, which is the uh, patrician and the plebeian, who we have today, the Democrat, Dem- Democrat and the uh, Republican. Same thing, same system. Right? Yeah. Verse 15. And made themselves uncircumcised. And forsook their holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. And this is <laughs> and this is precept you just read that the um, Ephesians 2. That beautiful precept. Ephesians and, 2. And so the history that, also the history lining up. It's lining up. That's why you gotta know the history. You pastors don't know the history. You understand? They don't know the history. Right, I'm a, that's all the acronym around this little piece. Um, 
this little piece of um, thing I pull up on the Hellenistic period. Right? I can't, I can't. Everything lining up. Right? Everything lining up. You know, the most I putting you pastors on the spot now because your congregation asking questions. And you're going to lie more because you're all these de- de- demons. So you're going to just keep lying. Right? <laughs> Yeah, this is um we're going into the history of the world now with Antiochia. This these line up with the scriptures. Right? It said uh, Antiochus the fourth, he said uh, the prosecution of the Jews, right? He said uh, Antiochus the fourth, who called himself Epiphanes, God manifests, took power in one seventy five BCE, thirty years after Seleuc- uh, Seleucus conquest. Of what would later be known as Palestine, with Palestine is mm-hmm. our land, right? He said he had he had ambition of reestablishing Alexander Empire under his own rule, and bad little, and Salakia had little regard for the religion of the Jewish people. So hey, this is not this, this real religion, eh? right? It's, it's I mean. He, he had he had little regard for our heritage, right? Our law, statutes, and commandment. You know our way that the Mosai command us to live. So he had little regard. You understand? Right? Yeah. He said Antiochus upset upset the line of um, of um, su- uh, su- succession of the high priest by appointing Joshua, who then took the Greek name Jason. And this is scriptural, right? This um, Can. in the whole second Maccabee, this scriptural, this second Maccabee, um, right? Second Maccabees, chapter, um, um. Yes, second month to be chapter five. Well, that's no. Nah, it's four. Yeah, it's four. Yeah, second month to be four. Uh, let me see where can start from. Start from our uh, course. Um, 19. Now you can start, start a little up. Um, start from verse, um, verse 7. Right? You can start from verse 7. And then we can skip to Yeah, Start from verse 7. Let me continue. Yeah. Yeah. But let me continue, right? So it's, uh, um, no it's, uh, um, it's, uh, Joshua who took the, who took the Greek name Jason in place of his brother Unius for a, mm. for a bribe. <laughs> you understand? These Jakes was wicked Jakes. Then, then deposed Jason and appointed, uh, Meli, me, me, many, many lusts again. Know the Greek name for a bigger bride. He said this this um this um he said of the event brought to an end the Zodiacite line of high priests. He said Antiochus the fourth attacked the Palamitic kingdom in Egypt and defeat them. This is this surprise, however, the Romans also had land in Egypt shortly after his arrival and forced him to return return the rule to the um, Ptolemy on his way back to Israel. He um he desecrated the temple in Jerusalem, sacrificing pig on the altar in one hundred sixty in one sixty seven <laughs> BCE. Right? Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. you you devil's gotta pay for all of this. Uh, all this all this record is 
it jotted down and you just got to pay for all this. He said he set up an altar and he set up an altar of Zeus. And this is why we keep telling you devils, right? You, you Christian, we keep telling you the name and you call on Jesus, you call on Zeus, you call on you, you praising, you praising Ptolemy, which go back to Serapus Christos. We keep Adam, telling you all that, Adam. right? He said, and prohibit Sabbath absor observance, circumcision, reading of the Torah. I and mean, we go into the two, they was, they was putting us to death because we're reading the Bible. They were destroying the Bible too. And there's a straight cut for you dumb niggas who said the Soka White Man read the Bible. If the Soka White Man read the Bible, why he was destroying it here in 70 AD? You understand? Um, why he was there? Um, I can't, I can't, I can't tell you, I can't tell historical facts and biblical facts. Why they were destroying the Bible? So like in one, in one, in 167 BCE. Right? He said, um, and celebration of religious festival, right? Mean, mean our feasts, right? Mean our feast days, like the oh, Sabbath. Oh, yeah, the high holy days. Can, can the Sabbath, feast of Tabernacle, feast of Pentecostal, Passover, you name it, right? He said, in short, right? He outlaw, he um, yeah, he outlawed the Judaism seeing the Jews as a threat to his kingdom, right? A team which would um, re-emerge in modern time under Hitler. He said his actions were um, strict, um, strictly inconsist inconsistent with the attitude of tolerance that usually uh, characterize Hellenistic culture. <laughs> Amazingly, many of the Jews welcomed Welcome, he, welcome, he change. Yeah, he said many, he said many of the Jews wel, welcome, he change. Antiochus imposed some, some seem to have been saying, it is about time we caught up with the rest of the world. And this is the same thing this devil be saying today. This is the same thing this be saying today. Right? He said, and abandoned all those Asian customs of ours. They took on Greek value. This is Asian life here. They took on Greek value, Greek names, Greek dress, and adopt the Greek diet. That's why you niggas eating anything except for what? The prayer, they're going to be clean. <laughs> this is history. Yeah, know they know that Greek and them love their pork. So they know yeah. like that and them love the pork now. Yeah. Right, and this is that's all the dress that, you, that we have. We are Greek names. We dress like the Greek. You understand? That we adopt, we adopt a Greek diet, which is eat anything. Shave off the beard like the Greeks. Mark the head like the Greeks. Can. Take ball head like the Greeks. Right, he said. Um, mm -hmm. He said, however, did not. He said, however, no. So, so like he said, others, however, did not see matters the same way. Especially many of the pes the peasant in the countryside, a group <laughs> called the or Hasidian, right? The um, peasants once um, engaged in a period out of the. Uh, resistance of the chain of these change, right? So they're going into Maccabeus and them who who um who fight. You understand? Who they who they who they who they, who they, who they um, get Hellenized, right? So there's just a little piece of, of history, you know, that can line up with the scriptures. Hmm. And I just show how wicked these people is. Yeah. Hey, Shalom to um, Israel for Kanazar. Um, Shalom. Yah Bashim, Yah Shai Bashim, Kodash. Um, you put Revelation 12 and 6. He said, and the heart, and the heart, and the heart helped the woman. The woman was the, the Israelite. And the heart opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood. 
he said, which the dragon cast out of a, of a mouth. And the dragon is the Roman Empire, right? Mm-hmm. You understand? And the flood is when they're coming, when they're coming, when, when they're coming with the troop to, 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 to devour us. You understand? It's when they're coming. Right? Um, James 101, can the Israelites like, like scatter among in our folk on the earth? You understand? <laughs> Yeah, can you continue there? You can jump down. Yeah, read the um, second, second Maccabee 4, Sean. The uh, second, yeah, second Maccabee 4, verse 7. But after the death of Seleucus, when Antiochus called Epiphanes, took the kingdom, Jason, the brother of Onias, labored on the, on the hand to be high priest. And this will be just reading. Take bribe. We just read it. This cycle of history. He take bribes and no a. Hey, where they get it from? They get it from the scriptures. They get this information from the scriptures. Where that? Promising unto Promising the king unto by intercession three hundred and three score talents of silver. And of another revenue, 80 talents, right? Besides this, he promised to assign 150 more if he might have license to set him up a place for exercise and for the training up of youth in the fashions of the heathen. Now, who was the youth? Young... <laughs> <laughs> It was Israelites. Does he have a right Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah and here he, he had the bad part about it here. Yeah. And for the chain up of the youth in the fashions of the heathen. Yeah. So obviously it has to be Israelites. Yeah. Because you, 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 when, you, you when fashion the heathen youth. To the fashion that he hidden, obviously you gotta fashion somebody to the hidden. Right. Israelites. Right. Because the hidden, will, uh, the hidden will naturally do what the hidden do. Because that, that is the spirit. It's a spirit. Right? And and to write and to write them to of Jerusalem by the name of Antiochians. That name for the, the tutors of our people, boy. Yeah, and the t- 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 take on Greek names. Yeah. That's we was calling the plantation. Wherever if it's Mr. Jones Plantation, everybody Mr. Jones Plantation were named Mr. Were, were named Jones. Yes, the last name was Yeah. Oh, that's just so yeah, you belong today. Yeah. You know you belong today. A sleeve name. Yeah. Which then the king had granted, fucking wicked, Salaki, which the king had granted, and he had gotten into his hand the rule. He forward brought his own nation to the Greekish fashion. The Greek, his own nation? So who, who, was, he, who was he nation? And. Does he have a sick period right here? That's why when our pastor Paul said that they needed the Jews. No, Greek, they all are one in the house, shy. Roughly paraphrase because they are Israelite, they were Hellenized. So, Apostle Paul was sent to the, the Israelites who are Gentile, who are in a Gentile state of mind to remind them, Yo, you are Israelite, you have to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. How hard is that? Yeah, because I mean, even. That, 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 that's the way you're saying act because when you already watch the history too if if apostle if the, if the Mosai then put the spirit on the apostles to actually go to these people here who say they're Israelites then how shall they know they're Israelites? Right. How shall they stay being saved at the end? The Mosai know the people and where, and where he's got the Mosai know exactly where he's got the people the Mosai know yeah. everyone right and that's a glory because some of, some of these Israelites will actually wake up at the end, but there are very few. Yeah. 
before the most high before the most high wake you up, he was in a gentile state of mind. Yeah. He was wicked as hell. <laughs> exactly. Isaac and Maccabees 4 verse 11. And the royal privilege, privileges granted of special favor to the Jews by the means of John, the father of Eupolemus. Eupol, Eupol, yeah. And I did, and, and I did next thing with these, these heathens too. They, they love to take on biblical names. Eh? <laughs> Whom went ambassador to, to Rome for a uh, for a mati and aid, he took away and put in down the governments which were according to the law. Yeah. He brought up new customs against the law. This is where we have Christmas today, Easter, Valentine, Mother's Day, Father's Day. This is where we have these things today, and UGX taking part of it. When UGX is supposed to be um, celebrating Passover, Sabbath, keeping the Sabbath, piece of wheat, piece of tabernacle. No, you, you Israelite don't do these things again. You follow the new customs. New customs, ce celebrating all their own birthday. And that's that's yeah. wickedness. You know, that, that that's wickedness on the whole. And I've always read any first Maccabees, wickedness multiply. And. Yeah. 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 And brought a chief young man under his subjection and made them wear a hat. And now such was the height of Greek fashions. An increase of hedonish manners. Though the exceeding exceeding profanes of Jason, that ungodly wench. And no high priest was wicked as hell. Man. That the priests had no courage to serve anymore at the altar, but despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices, he is turned to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise after the game of discuss called them forth. Man. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Christians best of all. Are we seen it today? Seen it today? We see no Jake. We see no Jake. Them, 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 Jake, them Jake is Grecians. Them in the spirit of the Greeks. Them in the spirit of the Romans. We seen it today. That's why, that's why our pastor Paul could have said we say they. The Jews and the Greeks is the same people. Then, because they are Israelite. And they were acting like these heathens. Right? So I'm going to go back into Force Maccabee. We left off and I'll continue there too. Right? Yeah. Uh, Force Maccabee. Uh, Force Maccabee chapter 100 to 41. He said, Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom. That all should be one people, and there's what you all are the one world government. Uh -huh. He said, he said, and everyone should leave his leave his laws. So all the heathen agree according to the commandment of the king. So all the heathen agree. So leave their custom and follow his custom. So all the heathen in one spirit. You understand? He said, yea, many also of the Israelite consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idol and profaned the Sabbath. And that's how they became Gentile. We read it early in 1 Corinthians 12 and 2. That's how these Israelites became Gentile. They start following the ways of the heathens. Um, so all the Gentiles that you see in the New Testament that can receive salvation are Israelites. Right? The most I show them mercy. To wake them up back and let them repent. Right? He said, um, verse 44, he said, For the king had sent, sent a letter by messenger unto Jerusalem and the city of Judah that they should follow the strange law of the land. 
<laughs> and forbid born offering and sacrifice drink offering in the temple, and they should profane the profane the Sabbath and festival days. And we see we see on a high scale. Jake, so Jake, right now you move coming in this evening, which is a new month. You understand? Which is going to be the eighth month of according to the moon, right? And it's a Sabbath. Jake's going to be out there. Jake's going to be out there doing, doing, doing whatever they feel like. Right? It's a, it's a, what is six? What's 46? And pollute the sanctuary and holy people. He says, set up altar of grove and chapel of idol and sacrifice for your flesh and unclean <laughs> beasts. And I set up the chapel of with the statue of Zeus. Right? He said that they should also leave their children uncircumcised and make their souls abominable with all manner of unclean and profane and profane nation. And that's what we read reading now. The second, uh, let me select you. Ephesians 2 11. The circumcision were calling the other age like uncircumcision. Yeah. All right? He said, to the end, they might forget the law. And change all the ordinance, and we did forget it. Jeremiah seventeen and four, we all did forget it at once. So the most I bring it back to my memory now, right? By setting up his men out there to teach, to wake up the elect. He said, and moreover, Salakia. He said, and whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said, should should die in and the self manner. Wrote he his whole kingdom and appoint overseer over all the people, commanding city, commanding the city of Judah to sacrifice city by city. <laughs> then many of the people were gathered into unto them to wit every one that forsake the law, and so they commit evil in the land. So he said, then many, so many the Israelites they were and they were Hellenized. Many they were Hellenized. Right? He said, um, verse 53, and drove the Israelite into secret place, even even wheresoever they, they go, flee for secure. A lot of, a lot of Israelites went to what, the Africa, we read in the book of Babylon, the book two, they flee to Egypt, Ethiopia, and Libya. They flee to these African countries. Right? He said, um, he said, he said, no, the 15, um, let me jump down. Yeah, let me continue. So now the 15th day of the month, Asul, in the 140 and 50 year, they set up the abomination of desolation upon the altar and build idol accord and build idol, idol altar throughout the city of Judah on every side and <laughs> burn incense at the door of the house and in the street. And when and when they had rent in pieces the book of the law, which they found, they burned them with fire. So this so called white man, they write the Bible. Why he was destroying the Bible? Hey, why he was destroying the Bible? This, this there's a question to you, retarded monkeys out there. Who said he so called white man write the Bible? Yeah. Right? He said, um, and whosoever was found with any book of the testament. Or if any consult to the law, the king commandment was that they should be put, that they should that they should put him to death. Hmm. This authority by he said this they did by their authority unto the Israelite every month, to as many as were found in the city, right? And that's how we were Hellenized by this by force by by the sword by this sword. Healer. You understand? That's how we were Hellenized. So when you go into Galatians 3 and um, Galatians chapter 3, they said they, they, the, Jews, they, the Jews are Greek, they all are, they all are one, but people are phrasing is what they were Israelite. They were Israelite. That's why they say that. But according to the scriptures, right, the Gentiles are going to be destroyed. I mean, go into that. These Gentiles are going to be destroyed, and these Gentiles are going into slavery. The actual Gentiles mean the other nation. You understand? They're going into slavery. Right? That's exactly what's going to happen to them. Is there anything I can bring it out? Uh, 
Um, Cause these 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 hidden what 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 the history what they do what the history you feel most I forget that oh. you feel most I forget that the most I not slack right. you know um that's not there bring out a piece of fear and now I circle a history is important now you know. Yeah. Actually, being being able to actually filter to the the scriptures, we just call it filter into the scriptures to make the like, to get a better understanding. Now. Um. Uh, this is um they start with um Romans nine verse twenty four. It says even us whom had he called not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. <laughs> you know they, you know when when these Christians when these Christians read this they say, they say, they say it's everybody now. Everybody. And he and he said also in Hosea I will call them my people, which are not my people, and her beloved, which uh, which was not my beloved. You know. Right. And I and I was going back to what, what the brother was saying just now. You know, Israel was always well, but after they, they become Hellenized, you know, and it have something that why going back to regeneration after generation upon generation after leaving off the custom, the custom was no more. So they was not known as Israel anymore. They was not known as the Mosai people. You know, they was not called Israelites anymore then. They was called, yeah, they, they was called um, Antiochians now. <laughs> Antiochians though. Uh, verse 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, they shall be called the children of the living power. And how that right. shall it be called? How the shall it be called the children of the of, of the most high living power? Because they, they was not known as Israelites anymore. Right. You understand? But to the word, to the word, the spirit, the, to the word, because I, and that's why the most high actually sent Apostle Paul to actually remind that even though they even though that they, they, they are Hellenized, at the end of the day they are still Jews. Right. Understand? Let me get a quick one here for you. Uh, second Peter chapter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I store up your pure mind by the way of remembrance. Can. And this is really most I send Apostle Paul to the Gentiles to do what? To store up the pure mind. And we go down to the deep sleep. Right, so hey, we can touch on the, the destruction of the Gentiles. If you are saying that the Gentiles could be saved, the most I say these Gentiles are going to be destroyed and they're going into, they're going into um into slavery. Ah, of course, they really Good. I, I, I just have know. one piece of before we start yeah, that the, um, the destruction of the Gentiles. Uh, that's one more piece. Right. Uh, they yeah. Colossians one verse twenty five. He said, whereof I made a minister according to the dispensation of the Mosiah Hawa, which is given to me, to, to me for you to fulfill the word of the Mosiah. Even the mystery which had been hid from ages. You know, so this was actually hid from ages, the mystery, right? Uh, which was from ages and from generations. But there's uh, no manifest to his sins to okay. whom power would make known what is the riches and of the glory of the of this mystery you see, this mystery among okay. the gentiles that mystery among the gentiles is a mystery, it's a mystery. <laughs> and this person it wasn't given to them it was given to the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, 
Can... He must be in seven. It was given. It was given to the prophets. Mishu was given which, to the prophets. Which, which is a Mashiach in a you? Mashiach. Which is your hope, Chai, a Mashiach in you? The hope of glory. Yeah, the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of kingdom of heaven is in you. Done. You know, so you know, I say it, it's a mystery, it was a mystery because it was hidden because after the lock of the after the um the Israelites were Hellenized, it really had about a handful, there's a few of them who actually kept the customs. Yeah. But the majority of Israel is like they they, they, they didn't they didn't it, it didn't exist anymore. And yeah. the mystery was hidden from ages and generation upon generation. So imagine how wicked our people was when this mystery was hidden. Good. So they locked off the Mosai covenant and they and they turned their back away from the Mosai. So that's why the Mosai considered them not his people. Good. Son? Let's get a precept from the coming board for the brother. The brother, I mean, I was up. He put uh, Malachi 2 and 9. I get a quick precept there for the brother. It says, Malachi chapter 2, verse 9. He said, Therefore have, have I also made you contemptible and base before all people, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Can't that is what the most I made me. Right? But now the most I um, having compassion upon us. And give and and and, re, and revealing the mystery to him. He meant that he set up the teach, right? Which is Amos three and um, seven. He says, "Surely the Lord Yahweh power will do nothing but reveal it, His secret unto the unto His servants, the prophets." So the Most High have His servants on the earth right now, teaching the true gospel. You understand? Teaching the true gospel, and we, our lot of these guys do not. They don't pray. And ask the father to lead them into the true men that will give them the truth. You understand? They don't, they, don't, they don't like to hear the truth. They like to be wicked. Good. You know, because they like to, as as we were reading in Maccabees, you know, that some of them saw that it was good for them to actually left off the customs. They don't want good. to hear the truth. You know, they, they, they rather prosper here than they rather prosper with the heathen. And to suffer a long suffering with the Mosai. And I just said at the end of the day. So, we're going to see the destruction of these Gentiles. Right, right. This is Luke 21. And this is the prophecy where Yahweh Shai prophesied what will have, what, what have the Jerusalem in 70 AD. Right? This is, um, so I'm, most, I'm just going straight to the point. This is um, Luke. Chapter 21, verse 24, he said, and, and they shall fall by the edge of the and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away, led away captive into all nations. So these is Israelites who were who are dying in 70 AD. When 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 these um when these when, when Antiochus and them came in upon us, they were dying by the sword. And they were led away captive into all, into all nations. So all the nation Israel, Israel was led away captive into. Why I think one of the prophecy Yahusha said go into go into go into all the world and teach the gospel to every creature because the Israelite was scattered into all nations. These pastors don't read these scriptures. They don't read these scriptures. This is why the most I gonna destroy these pastors. Right, because the hey, the 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 agenda is just to make money, but that the Bible has a front. This Bible has nothing to do about with Christianity, nothing. Right, this Bible condemn Christianity. Right, Luke twenty one and twenty four, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down. Of the Gentiles, so the mm -hmm. Gentiles who dwell in Jerusalem, 
the Gentiles who, who come and defile Jerusalem. Right? They got to pay for this. They got to pay for this. Yeah. Right? He said, he said, um, Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentile until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So they got to pay for this. Right? And they got to they gotta pay for this. If you got anything after you bring it out, then get the next one for you. Yeah. As you were saying earlier, the most I don't forget. Although this is the most I script. You understand? Because they, they, they reserve until judgment. Right. At the end of the day, these Gentiles reserve until judgment. Right. A quick one for you. It's Colossians, yeah. Colossians 3 25. He said, But he that do it wrong shall, shall receive for the wrong which he had done, and there is no respect of person. And there is no respect of person. I'm trying to remember my precept I was reading yesterday. Um, say all these, all these other, all these other hidden nations. How would you? The judge, um, the reserve, the um, the wicked reserve for punishment now, boy. Oh, this is um, Peter. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Second Peter. The time of the ungodly are reserved until the day of, uh, for the punishment. Yes. Yeah, I think the second Peter. Uh, the one in second Peter 2 and 9, he said, The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Mm-hmm. And I got next one, um, second Peter 3 and 7. But the but the heavens and the earth which are now by the sea by the world are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Of ungodly men. Right? Of ungodly men, right? Yeah, yeah, was, uh, yeah. And and here what are linking up with Psalm seventy yeah. three here. Done. Uh, Psalm 73, and I will just keep on jumping now, boy, right? I get straight to the point. Um, I'll start from verse 10. Psalm 73, verse 10. He said, therefore, his people return it. His, his people return it hither, and waters of the full, full cup are wrung out in them. And they say, how do power know? And there is no, and where is the knowledge in the most high? Behold, these are are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They, they increase in riches. You know, very um, verily I have cleansed my heart in vain and washed my hands in innocent, innocent, innocency. For all the day long I have been plagued and chastened every morning. If I say I will speak thus, behold, I should offer, I, of, I should offend against the generation of thy children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me, right? Until I went into the sanctuary of the Mosai, then understood I their end. So, you know, so when I commented this to then it has understand the end of these ungodly men, right? Because it can, because how we, how we went through history and how we see that they, they, they was prospered by taking our people down and stuff like that. Because yeah. at the end of the day, the, the, the Mosai has moved with his time in. It's not like we time in, you know. You know, because although we're longing for the Mosai to come back, but it's his show still going on. He yeah. knows when it's, 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 it's the right time to send this star man in how Mosai to actually come and, you know. He's sure the be, uh, yeah, how right. is, So yeah, how is right. the Jesus, he is the destroyer <laughs> of the Gentiles. Of the, you Christians don't read. Yes. Now is um the Macani Psalm seventy three verse seventeen until I went into the sanctuary of power, which which is the scriptures, which is in knowledge of the scriptures, right. then understood I the end. 
Surely thou didst see them in slippery places, thou castest them down in, into destruction, how into desolation at, as in a moment, as uh, in a moment. They are utterly consumed with terrors. Uh, I don't know the, the, the most are actually bringing terrors on, on you other nations. Uh, you other nations, because you other nations, when you go to the secular history, as your brother was talking about, you other nations had a part to play in the destruction of Israel. Uh, even even when I read um as as Daniel the eighth chapter, you know, um Antiochus actually paid other nations to help take down Israel. Yeah. You understand? So you other nations have to pay for that too. Yeah. Yeah, back up with a quick one. Eh? Yeah. Uh, in Revelation chapter eleven, verse eight, he said, And their dead body shall lie in the street. Of the of of the great city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where our Lord was crucified, and hey, we we, we, we this 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 referring to what Babylon, which is America, and all these places America rule at the provid, providence of Babylon, and this place is spiritual yeah. Egypt, and Sodom, and we see the wickedness in this place, and the dead bodies is with the dead Israelites who dead in mind, you understand. We was once dead in our mind, not knowing that we were Israelites, so they dead bodies. Right? It's there verse 9. And uh, so we we to crucify our Lord. How to crucify our Lord? One 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 an example we're to put here for the so-called white man. That's how that's how they crucify him. You know, they're, they're saying that he loved everybody when he loved everybody. They're saying that he came for everybody. He didn't came for everybody, he only came for the Israelites. Um. Uh, verse 9, he said, And they of the people, kindred and tongue and nation, shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their, their bodies to be put in grave. So these nations know who he is. These elite, these top elites, these nations know that we are the Israelites. And they're not going to tell you, they're not going to come and tell you, hey, you know you are the Israelites. You know you are, you know you are the chosen people. You understand? They're not going to come and tell you that. Right? He said, he said, and they that dwell upon the earth shall, re shall rejoice over them. And this week, I was going to do the, the aid and rejoice over us. These and, nations, so I got to pay, right? He said, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and send gift one to another because these two prophets torment them that dwell upon the earth. And these two prophets represent Judah and Israel, right? If you know anything about if you know anything about the history, the most I split split our nation into two after the death of Solomon. And right. yeah, go ahead. Uh. So, uh, um, I just um I just get a piece of here, man, boy, the destruction of the um <laughs> the other nations, uh, because as they say, the uh, the other nations know the other nations know and rejoice. Uh, they, they Lamentations 2 verse 15. Say so all that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem. Saying is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty? The joy of the whole earth? You know? Right. All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee. All our enemies. Right. And all our enemies going back to what all these other nations. Which, which is not Israelites. Right. Every other Asian, every other nation which is not Israel is our enemy right. at the end of the day. Because they had a part to play in some part of history about destroying Israel. Right. You know? All thy enemies have opened their mouth against thee, they hiss and gash their, their teeth. They say, We have swallowed her up. Certainly, this is the day that we look for. We have found. We have seen it, and our the, the, these other nations was praying for. These other nations praying for for our the downfall, our destruction, and that's why these other nations right now they don't consider even the head of Israel, which is Judah, which is the the so-called Negroes, 
as the lowest thing right now. Yeah. Especially the so-called black man. He is the lowest thing right now. He has right. no rights. He's not, he's not even a man in the sight of these hidden nations. He's not a man, the woman ruling over him. And he's so discriminate. He want to be a faggot. This certainly is the day that we look for, and I was actually looking forward to this. These yeah. other nations are actually looking forward to this. Yeah, so they got to pay for that. We have found, we have seen it. The Lord had done that which he had devised. He had fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He had thrown down and had not pitied. And all the most I actually do Israel. And he mm -hmm. had caused thy enemies to rejoice over thee. He had set up a horn of shine of thine adversaries. So, you know, he make, he make our, our, all these other nations rule over us. For yeah. we are the lowest thing on the earth right now. The so name the most, is... So the, the name is... Children. Yeah. So the most I do it to his children. What you can do to you and 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 trust me, and slavery, and what we're going to know... As far as nothing compared to what you what you hidden is going to go to. Yeah. Because he will give us the mind of terror. And we yeah. shall meditate terror. And he shall give us power over you. And anything that we do unto you shall be righteous. Yeah, guy, I deserve that. You know? Especially that especially the head nation Edom. Oh, You're going boy. to be you are, you, you are going to get the worst in the kingdom. And trust me, I just have a spiritual feeling that Yahweh Shai himself is going to have you, 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 um, you top elites for, for yourself personally. I just have a feeling so. I have a feeling so. I have a feeling so. The, 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 top, the, the, the top, top, top elites. Yeah, what about Shemel Shai will have them for yourself? Because them is the first crop of slaves. Them is going to be the yeah. first crop of slaves. So all them dead bodies, after, after the world, after the um, Armageddon, all their full job is to, to bury them dead bodies. This is the first, this is the first um, employment. <laughs> the first employment. <laughs> And even when you read um, Lamentation 4 from 21, they say how um how daughter, the, the daughter of Edom, the, the cup shall pass unto you. And, 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 and that cup is hardcore slavery. The cup of people we drink of. And we still drinking because we are the dregs. But the Mosai actually have them pity upon us because it's time for this wicked kingdom to fall. You know? Good. We just in we, we we just in the second side of this kingdom. Huh? If you really watch it spiritually, because the scripture said a thousand years is like one day with the Most High. Yeah. Right? So, one hour should be roughly about 42. About 42 years. And we know we don't have no 42 years from now. Yeah. You know that for sure. Because prophecy is being fulfilled, so we know that for sure. You know, and so that's why we just say we, we, we in the last seconds of this man kingdom after the new world order trying to try to implement that's it there. That is it. Yeah, once the, once the chip, once they implement the chip. That is it. Is that's it. it. Is all hell going to break loose. All hell going to break loose. Because just like just like one morning, you would just see everything going, everything you wake up a morning, I just see the dollar drop. Big news. The value of the dollar dropped. The value of the dollar is no more. That is what we hoping for. You know, we, and after we see that, we don't know what comes. We don't know what coming because all key is going to be breaking out when they, when they see the dollar drop. Yeah. In the sun. Yeah, um, I got something to feel. Yeah. This, um, um, 
I'm gonna read this. This is um Isaiah. Isaiah sixty one verse um seven verse four. He said um he said and they shall build the old let me start from verse three. This is Isaiah sixty one verse three. He said to appoint unto them the morning uh, the morning the morning um the morning Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. He said that they might be called tree of righteousness, um the plant the planting of the Lord that that he might be glorified. And this this is the most I bring back Israel into the glory. Right? This is most I bring back Israel into the glory. Right? The glory. Hey, verse four. And they shall build old ways, they shall rise up the former desolation, and they shall repair the way city, the desolation of many generations. And he's even gonna build back our kingdom, which is in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Right? You got the most I got to burn down Jerusalem. Jerusalem got to be destroyed. Right? So you got to be destroyed to rebuild. Right? Uh, you got them, them heathens inside they, 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 they defile our land. Right? Um, verse 5, he said, And stranger shall stand and feed your flock. And the sons of the, and, the, and the, he said, And the sons of alien shall be your plow, plow men. And your vine dressers, these these heathens, right? <laughs> he said, but he shall be named the priest of the Lord. Men call he said, men shall call you ministers of the Most High. He shall eat of the riches of the Gentile. He shall eat the riches of the Gentile. Ah, your wealth, we are First and foremost, was belongs to us. So we're going to take everything from y'all. We're going to rape y'all. Take it by force. This is really what we rape me. Take by force. Right? He said, he said, he shall eat the rich, the riches of the Gentile, and in their glory shall he boast yourself. He said, for your shame, he shall have double, and for, and for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. He said, therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. It said, For I the Lord love judgment. Most I, the most I say, you love judgment. The most I the power can. of judgment. You understand? Can, 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 can. For I the Lord love judgment. I hate robbery for born offering, and I will direct their works in truth. I will make an everlasting covenant with them, which is Israelites, and their seed shall be known. I hear they say, and their seed, which is the Israelite, shall be known among the Gentile, and their offspring among the people. He said, all that see them shall acknowledge them, and they that they are the seed which the Lord had blessed, is the Israelites. You understand? I yeah, <laughs> this, 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 this is about to happen. This is future tense. This is about to happen. You understand? But it destroyed the gentiles on his way. And I want to piece of the act, boy. You let her. Uh, they deter and I made 32. Yeah. Verse 4. It says, He is the rock. His work is perfect, for all his ways are judgment. I know a man right. said his judgment, the only most high ways are judgment. A power right. of truth are without iniquity. Trust and right is he. Right. You know? So that's why when, when, when um, the Mosai actually beautify Israel again, it shall be righteous. Right. Put judgment on your heathens. I'll be praying and we just waiting for that day. Have a quick piece of faith here. Yeah, uh, Ezekiel 28, verse 24. He said, And there shall be no more a picker, a pickering, 
pricking Bria into the house of Israel, unto the house of Israel, nor any grieving tone of all that are around about them that despise them, and they shall know that I am the Most High Yahweh. Right? Mean that that um, Israel shall not go into more any kind of um captivity, no yeah. kind, no kind of slavery. Israel shall yeah. go into no more. Just said the Most High Power. When I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, a separation, not so, right. among are scattered, or, or um, who they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, in the sight because all the heathen shall see who are the Israelites. Right. Right, sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to their servant Jacob. And they shall dwell safely therein, and shall build houses and plant vineyards, and they shall dwell with confidence when I have executed judgments upon all those that despise them round about them. Ooh. And they shall know that I am the most high power, their power. I am the most high how are their power? Then the last operation to the glory only before Israel at the end of the day. Done. And I want it for you. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 22. Therefore, whereas thou hast chastened us, thou scourges our enemy a thousand times more <laughs> to the intent. That when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. So the most I scratch our enemy a thousand times more. <laughs> hey. It says hell is hell for you heathens. You understand? Can can. It's hell for you heathens. Right. You don't forget anything. I got one here, so I don't forget anything. Then. Now I bring it up, man. This is um, this is what you he is gonna do. You he is gonna bring our sons and our daughter, your shoulders, right? Yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah eleven. <laughs> All right. This is um, now nah, this one is like Isaiah forty-nine. All right. This is Isaiah chapter forty-nine, verse twenty-two. He said, "And thus, and thus said the Lord, Power, behold, I will lift up my hands." to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people and they shall bring thy sons in their arms and thy daughter shall, shall be carried upon their shoulders. So you Gentiles and say, hey, when you see this destruction the most I can bring on you, on, on, on you, on you, on you heathens, right? You will know the most I punish you after where you are. No, you have to do. You have to say, hey, you are, you are hey, the Israelite. Are you going to bring us you gonna bring them for whoever, whichever part of the world the most has scattered them. You gonna go you gonna go and bring them on your shoulders, <laughs> right? He said, "Thus said the Lord, Power Salakio Isaiah forty nine and twenty two. Thus said the Lord, Power, Behold, I will lift up my hands to the Gentile and set up my standard to the people, and they shall bring thy sons in their arms." And thy daughters they shall carry upon their shoulders, and kings shall be thy nursing fathers. Hey, you are gonna minister to us, right? You are gonna be servants, right? He said, and their queen, thy nursing mother, they shall bow down to thee with their face towards the earth, and there's many gonna be blessed. So you dumb nigga talking about you blessed. You ain't blessed, you a slave. There's when you're gonna be blessed. When the most I make near this nation bow down to you, that's when you're going to be blessed. Man. Right? Man. Isaiah 4, 9 and 23. And king shall be thy like nursing father, and the queen is thy like nursing mother. They shall bow down to the bow down to thee with their face to, towards the, the earth, and lick the dust of thy feet. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, for they shall he said for he said for they shall not be ashamed that wait on me. You understand? So hey 
You know, you eat, you eat as, you eat as, prepare for slavery. Prepare for slavery. Right? So the most I, the most I about to destroy these Gentiles and put them in slavery. Most I about to take them out to the power seat. You understand? Um, Yeah. Yeah. I'm a piece of prayer before before we close. I'll fear boy actually. Yeah, I have a I have two more to bring out and we can close out it. Yeah. Uh, this I'm se- this I'm 72. And I'll start from um, verse 7. He said, In his days shall the righteous flourish, an abundance of peace so long as the moon endureth. And they know that will be forever. Yeah. Right? He shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from river unto the ends of the earth. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before him, and his enemies shall lick the dust. You know? The kings of Tar- um, Tarshish and of the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Sheba shall offer gifts. And you know, and I, and I see other nations paying tribute. Damn. These other nations are paying tribute. You know? First and foremost, they have to acknowledge who is Yahweh Basham Yoshai. Because when he read Psalm 46, he, sh- he says he shall make his name a praise. He shall make a name a praise in the earth. You know? Bring a piece up now. Yeah, this uh, this Psalm 60 verse, um, Psalm chapter 60 verse 8, he said, who, who, are the, who, are, who are these which fly as a cloud? Which is the char- speaking about the chariots, mm. and as and as a dove that that they and as a dove to their windows, surely the isles shall wait for me, and the ship and the ship of Tarshish for us to bring thy sons from far, their silver <laughs> and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai thy power, and he said and the Holy One of Israel, because he had glorified thee. And the sons of stranger shall build up thy walls, so these heathens can build up our our, our kingdom. Can hey, the so can Negroes, Latinos, and Native American man build up, build up, build up, build up the so can white man kingdom. Build up, build up all these heathen kingdom because we were slave to all these heathens. So it's, it's righteous judgment that's to be, be slave to us now. Yeah, no, no, it's only right. It's only right. <laughs> yeah. It's said um, Isaiah sixteen and ten. He said, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy wall, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor I have I I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gate shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night. Then men may bring that he said that men may bring unto thee the force of the Gentile, and that their kings may May, may, may be brought. Mm-hmm. He said, For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly waste. You understand? Mm-hmm. They're going to be waste. Right? They're going to be waste. You understand? So, hey, these nations, you have to pay for slavery. You understand? Yeah, I'll prepare for a slavery. This is ah, this is the done. Uh it's um each of them here it's um verse fourteen. He said the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. So are you nation who afflict we can come bending. It will come bending to your to your, to, to, your, to your superior. You know, the Israelite man are are you heathen nation superior? No, you are not gonna believe it now, you are gonna laugh at it. Even our own people gonna laugh at it. Hey, for when you how about Hashem Yahushai raise up his men and give them give them the spiritual body, give them the power. 
and we come down back on the earth after the destruction, you heat is gonna bow. Right? He said, uh, Isaiah 6, 16 and 14, he said, the, son, the sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the sole of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. He said, Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thus shall, he said, Thus shall also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shall suck mm -hmm. the breast of kings. You all are well going to come to us. You understand? And thou shalt know that I, the Lord Yahweh, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. You understand? You can be on the, um, Je Jeremiah 4 and 7, and I'll bring you Revelation, Revelation 11 and 11 and 1 and 2. And uh, we can have the coming word and we can close after that. Is it brother? Um, it's like four candles that I put up. Yeah. Jeremiah 4 and 1? 4 and 7. They destroy the Gentiles. Yeah. Jeremiah 4 verse 7. The lion has come up from his ticket. The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has Ooh. gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate. And the city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. Uh, yeah, no, the I like, come more. I'm going back to the line. The line is the line is Yahweh Shai. Can the line is Yahweh Shai? He from the tribe of Judah. Judah is known, Judah is known as a lion. You understand? So Yahweh Shai, who the one who really God Jesus, he comes to destroy these Gentiles. And to save the Israelite, the elect of the Israelite, the 144,000 and the one third million children who will be delivered in this last day. Because two third of people, they're going to be destroyed. Because not in the right mind, they're going to be destroyed. And they have to come back in the reincarnation as the elect children. And they're going to be taught the right way. Done. Done. Yeah, so hey, he destroyed the Gentiles on his way, right? This is Revelation chapter 11, right? Revelation chapter 11, verse, um, verse 1. He said, And there was given me a reed like unto a rod, right? And this, this, this is the Bible. And the angel stood, say, say it. Rise and measure the temple of the Mosai and the altar of them that worship therein. So, what's the temple of the Mosai? It's not a building. The Mosai tell the temple, the Mosai tell you don't build no temple. The temple of the Mosai is not a building. So, this is, this is talking about a building. That's why, that's why, that's why you are thinking, this is why you are looking for, for the third temple building in Jerusalem. No, the third temple are already building right before your eyes. Because the third temple is spiritual and it is the body, right? The third temple is the body, which is the men, right? Let me get this in a um, uh, first Corinthians, right? First Corinthians 3. And yeah, this is first Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know he not that he are the temple of the most high and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. So this temple is this temple is this temple is elect, which is the hundred and forty four thousand, right? You understand? There's a spiritual temple that built it, right? He said, uh, Revelation eleven and one. He said, and there was given me a reed like unto a rod, and the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of the Most High, and the altar, and them that worship therein, right? He said. Uh, even the scripture said the most I see gonna leave a, a poor and um afflicted people that gonna walk that go that gonna worship him. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 You understand? Verse two, 
He said, but the coat which is without the temple leaf out. And who is the coat without the temple leaf out? These are the heathen nation. He was I said, leave it out. This is these are the heathen nation. He said, but the coat which is without the temple leaf out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles and the holy city they shall trodden on the on the foot forty and two months. So mm -hmm. leave it to the Gentiles. You understand? So you you just you you are the Eden nation going into slavery. You understand? When our Lord and Savior come back, He comes to destroy you heathens, put you on a chain, right, and de and deliver and deliver his elect. Sorry. Right? You got anything that? Um, no, this this uh, piece of funny comment. Go now, we can close that bit. All right, so no problem. If you get my uh, five and fifteen, and I get Job twenty one thirty. You better for me. Um, yeah, what's up? It's like what kind of art. Uh, Micah 5 verse 15. I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the hidden, such as they have not heard. <laughs> and, 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 I just, and I just see judgment for you hidden. The most I reserve you. you, you, you the most I reserve you for him, son himself. Yeah. You know, yeah. but, and re really, actually, we don't have power now to actually take down these other nations. Yeah. That was the most I actually reserve you hidden for him, son himself, the star yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> destroy him, destroy him, the Gentile. <laughs> yeah. That's a Yapa P70. This is Job 21 and, 20 and 30. He said, that the wicked, he said, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. You understand? So the brother will say, hey, the most I reserve you, nation. You understand? And you can bring everything will come you want. Destruction in your kingdom, and you're going straight into slavery. All right? And they're going to be, you're going to be poor, perpetual. You hear the nation going to be poor, perpetual slaves. Right? And you, 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 Edomites, you see that Esau, you so called white people, you will serve a thousand year hardcore slavery, and after a thousand year hardcore slavery, you're going to be eradicated. Obadiah 1 and Obadiah 18. You're going to be eradicated. Right? We're not going to see an Edomite again. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. close up already. Oh, yeah, close up. Um, nice, nice. So shall so I tell you? I came on the comment board. I yeah. know, hope the video was edifying. Hope the live feed was edifying. You know, um, so once I give, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Raka Kodash. You know, the but other state apostles and elders of GMS, yeah. other state of yeah. Akiyamore. Yeah. So the next time we do the live stream, say Shalom. Got a one.